come out here. Uh, my little dynamite spot for whiting and um, great for pinkies. And oh, you do get some good solid snapper through here. But my aim is to to get about maybe 15 to 20, 40 centimeter whiting, maybe 45 or 40 centimeter whiting. That's what I'm looking for. Anything. Uh, So what we'll do, let the young fella go. I said nothing under under 39. The young fella is definitely size, but he's really skinny. But I'd say 31, but I'll let him go. Come on, buddy. Um, and I got my bait back. Good. And uh, this guy here is. Yeah, he's going to be a keeper. Awesome. That was actually pretty cool to get a double hooker. My first ever double. I never get a double hooker. That's a good sign. Woo! The fishing is going all right so it's far. All right. So I think I've got about three at the moment. Um, but I'm sitting on my dynamite spot here. I'm just sitting in the in the in the weed a little bit, five meters in the weed, and just. Yeah, so five meters from where I am, you can see where the weed bed sort of ends, and then on the other side is just all sand. So what I was doing is casting down towards the sand and just reeling in and hope, like, as I'm reeling in, I think it's puffing a bit of sand up, and I'm pretty sure that gets the whiting pretty curious because they're sort of, they are predator fish, they're hiding amongst the seaweed, so, you know, when you always cast out a little, and sort of give it a little bit of a wine, puff up a bit of sand around it, and it gets them intrigued. They're curious, um, curious animals, so they come out to suss it out, and if they like your bait, they will take it. And um, so yeah, that's what I was doing. And here, I thought I had one. I'm pretty sure I had one, and I was just winding too quick, and I dropped, dropped it off, dropped off there. I was like, ah, oh, bummer, a bit disappointed. But, um, and you know what I realized this day? Uh, my fish finder was telling me it was a, the water was 24 degrees. And I thought, wow, that's really warm. Normally I'm fishing it when it's 18 and down, sometimes 19. But 24, I thought that was too hot. Um, and the whitings were pretty picky, but they were still hitting it hard. So here I'm just preparing my squid, cutting it into strips long strips and then cutting them into halves again because I'm, I use circle hooks I'm a big fan of circle hooks I'm an advocate of circle hooks um, just because 99.9% .9 of the time you will get it on the side of the lip on the jaw uh, you'll never gut, gut hook it there's always that chance 1% but very rare uh, just because I know I go fishing with a lot of my mates and they swear by long shank hooks and I've seen them too many times where widen swallows the whole hook 
and it's just a baby whiting and you pull it out and you know, you've pretty much harmed the fish and you, you know, if you chuck it back in, it's definitely going to die or you might get a pinky or something and a pinky will swallow it and it's not size. So I just, I don't know, I'm a big circle hook fan. Uh, here we go, I'm pretty sure I'm onto one right here. Oh, oh, I must have dropped it. Must have dropped it. <laughs> must have dropped it. But anyway, yeah, I do. I swear by circle hooks. I think they're great. Uh, the only problem is some people don't like them because they're so used to striking. And uh, circle hooks, you don't strike. You sort of just you pick the rod up a little bit and you sort of lean back on it, and um, it will hook itself. A lot of the time, it will rotate and hook the fish. Uh, but when you go and sort of strike it. Yeah, you will miss your fish. You'll pull it straight out. But, you know, that, that's a thump of a wide in. Um, I'm pretty sure that was just over 30, uh, 36 or 37 centimeters. Um, yeah, keep watching. I know there's a few. There's a few more places here where I'll pull out some wide in, and uh, it was a beautiful day, but it was a really, really hot day. So I wasn't. Yeah, you know, I wasn't too sure if I should have gone little bit deeper you know maybe should have gone into that five meters or so to fish for them it might have been a little bit cooler down there the white might like it a little bit cooler I don't know just sort of just throwing out things out there I don't know if you guys would know what the best temperature is to fish for white I guess they say winter winter's really damn cold and you get some thump of white in but uh this day was pretty damn warm and I uh, st still got a couple. Alright, let's check check what's coming up. Alright. Let's keep them coming. Oh, here we go. Oh, another one. Good. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I dropped him. Ah, oh, mama. Happens to the best of us. Oh, what the hell? Come back if it really wants it. We'll give this little spot here another 10 minutes or so and then I'll um, scoot up a little bit. Just to widen, you should really should be moving every sort of 20 minutes or so. And once you find them, yeah, have about 20 minutes of fame, sometimes 10, or sometimes longer. But, oh, here we go. I've got a bit of a habit uh, when I get a little hit on the rod, um, especially when it's, you know, it's been a little bit quiet and the, the fish have been a bit timid, especially the white in. So what I like to do is pick up my rod and I like to wind it in a little bit. Make it look like um, the food's about to, you know, run away or so. And I find a lot of the times when I do that, I just wind it in a little bit. And if if your sinker's still sitting on the sand, it puffs up the sand a little bit. And most of the time, the widening will just go, nah, I'm not letting this food get in the way. And they'll just attack it. They'll just hit it. I'll smash it, bang, and, and you normally get them. Uh, but this time around, I didn't. But I do have that habit. 
Um, anyway, so here I am just moving up, um, just moving out of the weed bed a bit. I thought I'll sit directly in the middle of the weed bed and the sand. So the weed bed is on my left hand side and the sand is on my right. So I thought I'll sit in the middle and just cast straight down the line. Maybe stay uh, about a meter in in where the sand, sand uh, bed is and sort of just wind it in a bit and uh, puff it up a bit and hopefully these widen uh, just switch on. Hopefully they see off. Whoa, there's something out there. Let me quickly get out of this weed bed and check it out. And most of the time they do that. Um, but anyway, check it out and let's see what we get. See how we're going now. Dropping? Oh, got it. Nice. Oh, that's another one. That's a good size. There we go. That's a good size. Nice. Oh, just outside that weed. He deserved it. <laughs> Definitely deserved it. So I just caught that widen, but earlier on I was sitting right in the middle of the weed bed and the sand. This time I thought, you know what, I'll come into the shore a little bit. Came in about five, six meters in and then cast back into the weed bed. And as you see here, the widen, they just turned on. They started to come on and uh, yeah, from here we're having a bit of fun. Uh, it was widen after widen, but it's not always like that, guys. Uh, fishing is not always like that. It's a bit of patience in fishing, but at the same time, fishing is just one of them sports that it's relaxing. You know, I've been out before where I've been out for a few hours and come in empty-handed. Uh, but for me, it's all about, you know, it's I feel free when I'm out there in the water. I'm not thinking about much. I'm just sort of going, all right where can i find the next fish like you know you leave all your 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 world problems on the land when you're out on sea it seems like there's just freedom and all that so that's why i, I love fishing for that sort of reason it takes my mind away from a lot of things and here i am just paddling back and I'm pretty sure i got about six or seven wide in and got a feed so i was really happy have a good one guys and thanks for watching so yeah anyway uh we didn't manage to get a 40 centimeter wide in um they were all around 36 37 the biggest one was 39 so we're really close um, anyway thanks guys tune uh, tune in like subscribe do whatever floats your boat and uh, enjoy